We simply can't wait for the 2020-21 campaign of the English Premier League to kick off. After waiting for so long to see Liverpool finally become the champions of England for the first time in over three decades, it will be really interesting to see how the next season pans out. In all honesty, the upcoming season promises to be a very difficult one to call. Bar Manchester United or to some extent Tottenham, the traditional top six have shown their intentions in the last few weeks, which makes for an epic title assault. So let's take a look at some of the things that could shape the outlook of the upcoming campaign. Chelsea to make a surge After a one-year transfer ban, Chelsea were finally able to flex their muscles in the transfer market once again. In recent years, the Blues haven't splashed a lot of cash on new players like they used to when Roman Abramovich first arrived. This time around, though, the Londoners have started making good use of the cash they had in hand. Before the previous season concluded, they'd already announced the signing of Hakim Ziyech from Ajax. The Moroccans' arrival will add a lot of creativity and class in the team's forward lineup that already boasts the talents of Christian Pulisic and Callum hudson odoi But that's not it. Lampard was even able to convince Timo Werner to leave RB Leipzig for Stamford Bridge. The German arrived in London with a reputation of being one of the most informed strikers in Europe, and his presence will definitely ease the burden on Tammy Abraham's shoulders. The left-back role was quite a headache last season and the big-money signing of Ben Chilwell from Leicester City adds more depth to the squad and gives them a fullback who is still a few years away from reaching his peak. Malang Sarr chose not to extend his contract with OGC Nice once it expired and Chelsea quickly snapped up the young French defender who's likely to be sent out on loan. However, the youngster is bound to be a long-term project. The club also completed the signing of legendary Brazilian defender Thiago Silva once his contract expired at Paris Saint-Germain. The 35-year-old will bring a lot of experience and assuredness in defence, which seems to be the club's only weak point at the moment. After spending big this summer, Lampard will definitely be under a lot of pressure to deliver. The former midfielder has been given a lot of backing by the club's top hierarchy and we're not sure if Abramovich will be very patient if the club legend fails to deliver. Manchester City it's been a rather slowish transfer window for the citizens. They signed Nathan Ake from a relegated Bournemouth in a bid to add more depth to the defence. Ferran Torres was bought from Valencia in a bid to accommodate for the departure of Leroy Sane to Bayern Munich. However, the club is yet to sign a long-term replacement for David Silva, who left the Etihad after 10 glorious years. Similarly, Pep Guardiola might also be looking for a long-term replacement for Sergio Aguero. But hey, you know how the football world has been turned upside down since the now famous, or infamous perhaps, messi Burafax affair? The Argentine is looking to jump ship and has reportedly already held conversations with Guardiola over a potential reunion. If this move ends up happening for real, well, let's just say that Manchester City would be crowned champions of this summer's transfer window for sure. City are definitely going to be looking to forget their meek title defence last season and their manager would be eager to ensure that Liverpool don't get an easier journey this time around. The Gunners have been quietly making shrewd acquisitions this summer. William was bought once his contract at Chelsea expired and will add a lot of experience to the team. Similarly, the impending arrival of Gabriel Magalhaes is also going to give the team a long-term defensive partner to William Saliba, who's set to play his first season in England after spending last season on loan at Saint-Étienne. Mikel Arteta is also very eager to sign Dani Ceballos to a permanent deal. The Spaniard had a largely successful campaign in England last season after joining Arsenal on loan from Real Madrid. Arteta's team looks promising and Guardiola's former assistant will definitely be looking to guide his team to a better campaign this time around. According to reports, Arsenal are also eager to sign Quincy Promes from Ajax and if the Dutchman does end up signing for them, the Gunners will really have two great wingers down both flanks for next season. Tottenham might not have made a lot of headlines this summer but Jose Mourinho has done well to sign Joe Hart as a free agent with the England international expected to provide competition to club captain Hugo Lloris. Pierre-Emile Huybierg was signed from Southampton and the Danish midfielder would add a lot of depth and grit to the squad. However, the club hasn't found a replacement for Jan Vertonghen who left once his contract expired. Moreover, the futures of the likes of Tangai Ndombele and Victor Wanyama remain to be sorted out. Nonetheless, Spurs are bound to make a flurry in the last few days of the transfer market. Currently, the squad looks a little thin and we might see Mourinho struggle to get the best out of his players if he's unable to add fresh faces. Leicester City have lost the services of Chilwell and are reportedly interested in signing Nico Tagliafico from Ajax. The Argentine is definitely one of the most eye-catching fullbacks in Europe and having him in the squad would add a new dimension to the Fox's offensive approach.
After missing out on Champions League football last season, Rodgers will be eager to see his team do well in England and in the Europa League. Jamie Vardy might not be getting any younger, but the Englishman's form will matter a lot. Similarly, James Madison is bound to develop further this season, while Chalar Soyuncu's role will increase as well. We might end up seeing a more stable and consistent Leicester this time around. Leeds United are back in the Premier League after a 16-year hiatus. Marcelo Bielsa has done wonders with this team and the Whites are already making smart moves in the transfer market. They've recently signed Sam Greenwood and have a big money signing of Rodrigo from Valencia for around £27 million. While they're unlikely to be competing for top honours from the get-go, expect Leeds United to be there and about when it comes to standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the perennial heavyweights of the competition. Bielsa sides are normally very organised, attacking and love pressing their opponents. Whoever faces Leeds will be in for a tough time and we're really eager to see the Manchester United-Leeds United rivalry reignited after such a long time. Speaking of Manchester United, we have to say that the club is once again threatening to go back to its usual ways that have pretty much defined them since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. The Red Devils were the only team with an open road to sign Jadon Sancho, but Ed Woodward's thriftiness means that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been unable to sign a player he's been monitoring for quite a while now. After finishing third last season, we all thought that United would make good and quick moves in the transfer window, but that hasn't happened and it appears that the club could miss out on pretty much every player they've been targeting. It's safe to say that United will struggle again if they don't add more faces to the dressing room. The club badly needs a defensive partner for Harry Maguire. A new central midfielder would do them a world of good, and without a right-sided winger like Sancho, the team will once again continue relying on VAR, penalties and Bruno Fernandes skipping from six yards. Liverpool haven't been too active, but that was already decided months ago. Apart from signing Kostas Simikas, Jurgen Klopp hasn't made any move. However, the team's core is pretty strong and it's understandable why the reigning champions don't want to make a move for a really big-name player since that could impact things in the long run. Everton are reportedly close to signing James Rodriguez from Real Madrid and if the Colombian does arrive at Goodison Park, it'll add a lot of creativity and class to the team's forward line. The Toffees have the cash to spend and Carlo Ancelotti will be eager to kick things off on a positive note. While they underperformed last season, the Merseysiders could be the surprise package of the season, alongside Wolverhampton Wanderers and Sheffield United. Want to know how we never miss a match? With Fubo TV, you can stream any game, anytime, anywhere. Use our link in the description to start for free and watch your favourite teams live.